hello this is your girl Fosology. welcome back to my youtube channel make sure you like subscribe and click that notification button so you'll know exactly when i'm uploading new content today i am playing noob army tycoon i've been playing this game for a little while not too long a couple days now and i was like you know what let me record this and show you guys exactly what this game is all about i love tycoons tycoons are my favorite things besides obbies tycoons are like number two or number one i switch up but for this i love these tycoons I, I just love it and i'm like you know what let me let me let me try something different a noob army like who would want who would want to play a noob? like like who would want to but then i looked into it and i'm like you know what let me just give it a go let me try it before i complain about it i tried it and i fell in love i i'm telling you guys i love this game so much it is really fun um it's let me explain to you guys everything that's going on okay you can upgrade your research this is your research okay research points are important because you can use you can buy things with your research points and you can buy things with your money you'll upgrade your weapons you'll upgrade a lot of things okay so let me show you guys exactly how everything works now because i'm still new to it i could be wrong on some things but i can tell you what m the thing that i am right about so if i wanted to change my army and switch out some you know some not so good soldiers i would say so like a gunner it's not as good look at the damage rate on the side if you guys can see the damage rate on a gunner is not it's not as good it's 40 damage and the fire rate is only one that's not enough as soon as my you know soldier goes out there they're gonna get they're gonna get messed up they're gonna disintegrate again disintegrate means you know explode be gone basically they're gonna be destroyed basically that's what disintegrate means so i'm like you know what let me switch out my soldiers so i switched out it, my my normal gunner by just you know i could just put it in its place you see what i'm saying and that makes an extreme amount difference because the damage for a heavy soldier is greater than the damage for this the damage is 44 gunner but for a heavy soldier it's 90 90 damage and the fire rate is better okay so 0.3 seconds I'm firing every 0.3 seconds. So every three seconds, my weapon is fired. That's a good thing. That's a really, really good thing. So you always want to switch out. And the way to do that, again, is you click on change army. And you come on the side here. You see the sides. And you just drag. And you replace. And your, your army will automatically change which soon as you change your army up it's going to change as well so it's really it's really cool so like if i wanted a swordsman which to be honest with you these swordsmen be getting destroyed before they can even reach you know the end of the street they're not that good but if i wanted to i could replace the damage is it, it the damage is good 1000 that's like more than you know a heavy soldier but you know what let me put it let me put one in here i'm going to you know what i'm going to get rid of the medic because i don't know if they really need a medic at the moment medics are for healing you can heal your soldiers but you, if you only have one medic that one medic is not going to do much for all of your soldiers so you might want to put a couple medics in there you don't want to just stick with one medic I don't know why I decided to choose one medic over that, but yeah, don't stick with one medic. The repairmen, they repair like, you know, obviously they repair like either these like tanks and um, flamethrower tanks, fire tanks, they got heavy vehicles and stuff like that. Stuff that can get damaged, they repair those. Um, the scout, they look out for things. They want to make sure, you know, they alert, you know, they're more of an alert type of thing. They don't really do much damage. As you can see, it's like 40 damage. That's not really good. Um, so I don't really need a scout at the moment. So you know what? I might just switch out a scout with a swordsman. 
So now I have two heavy swordsmen because they do a thousand in damage. And you can't really beat that. You really can't. Now, if I wanted to change my super noob, I can. So you only get a certain amount. See, I can only change one. So I want to pick the strongest one, to be honest with you. The one that does the most damage. Let's see. Um, I think, all right, this does 400 damage. Let's see. Mm, 450 damage. Whoa. Okay, so I might need to go with electric. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go with electric and switch out the juggernaut. And there. So I easily switched out. I easily switched out my juggernaut for an electric so he does uh, more damage than the juggernaut i i didn't know that he did so it's good to always read and make sure you know exactly what you're doing you want to trade out your weaker army for a stronger army so that way you'll get more money you'll get more rps and you can't beat that you cannot beat that you'll get more points basically so it, it's really important to make sure you know what you're doing. Now, when I go to the vehicles, again, I could switch mines out. The damage and everything. Like, it's, I mean, look, look, I got two, two of these. So I wanted to make sure I was smart on the choices I made. I wanted to try out each vehicle too. So I kind of put one of each. You know, just to test it out to see what damage they could do. Um, I have been getting more points because of them. So that's a good thing. And they last longer than the army that is using, that are on foot. So you definitely want to make sure you're smart about that. Be very smart about your choices when picking your army out. You can change it as much as you want. If you see that there's a significant increase in your points, then you have the right army. You did an amazing job at that. If you see that you're not getting as much points with your army, you need to switch things up. Try different things. Don't stick with the same thing, though, because you, the more you upgrade everything around you, the better. So to get out of this, you just got to click back on it. See? Simple. So this is me giving you guys a walkthrough of everything. And you see my army is like right there waiting. Let me show you guys her army. They are waiting. Look at them. They're ready. They're ready. They're like, now, the bridge. The bridge connects them to another town. The town over has an army waiting. They're probably striking my army right now as we speak. There are snipers up in the buildings when you go through. They will they won't snipe me, but they will snipe my army. So keep that in mind. That that's what will happen. Because I have snipers on my buildings too as well. But yeah. And this is where they spawn back up. They spawn here and here. So when your army is destroyed, more spawn army comes back up. So it's unlimited. So you're good. Um, but it is important to make sure you know exactly what you're doing. These are my workers. They do research. You can easily upgrade. See? Well, that's for VIP, but if you're not VIP like me, you have to take your time with this. Don't rush. Um, and look at the board over here. So they just basically show you what's out. And it shows you if you want to change your troops out, you can. So it tells you what's available, what's unlocked. So it's really, it gives you an idea of everything. Let's go upstairs. Let's see what upstairs has. The same thing. This is more so of like the special, specialty army over here. The more powerful ones. The equipments and stuff like that than the boats but see it costs money to upgrade it costs as you can see here below research light destroyer 
you know, I could buy different stuff, different boats, different, more armies if I wanted to. And to make my army bigger, stronger, I would have to use my research points and my money. So I'm saving up for a million and money before I even do any of that. But see, it's different prices. Research poisoner. So if I want to buy a, a army type that can poison the victims, I can do that. It's expensive though. This one will cost 50000 in cash, and it will cost $2 million in research points. And I don't have enough research points. So always save up your research points. Don't be so quick. Then you have the bomber planes, which are the planes that drop bombs on your opponents. Now, it's still expensive, and right now I want to save up at least a million and money before I, I make any changes, but I'm definitely going to um, do that, purchase that. And I'm definitely going to purchase this down here, the heavy airship. So the more you upgrade, the better your army is. So I know people aren't going to want to upgrade because it costs money, but it is going to be worth it in the end because you will make tons. You can always get all your money and stuff back quickly, by the way. But yeah, so let me show you guys around a little bit. Here is the upgrader. If I want to upgrade troops, I can. It costs money, but it's worth it. Again, it's important to upgrade your troops. Do not leave them weak. Because other teams will get money off of you doing that. And you don't want them to get that at all. And these are the weapons available at my disposal. This yellow one is really nice. Yeah, so different colors and everything. Like, And then you have to use your stuff up. Like, don't... Don't try saving all of it and not spending a dime. You're going to have to eventually spend. Because look at my place. It's huge. This is for plants. I think that's somebody else's place over there. But yeah, you definitely want to upgrade as much as you can. Um, stuff is still unfinished here, which is fine. I'm not in a rush. You can also make alliances too, to where your army is not attacked by the alliance that you're in. So it protects you and you protect them. Um, and when you make those alliances, that makes your army stronger. So you definitely want to make alliances with people. If you have friends in the chat, y'all join the same alliance and I guarantee you will build up even more. Now, I don't understand what the trading is for, but let me look at the quest. I don't know. I don't even think I've ever looked at the quest before. Let me see what the quest is. Oh, yeah, you can claim your gems and stuff. So this is how you get gems. By You, you wouldn't even know that you had quests waiting for you and available until you, like, click on quests and realize, oh, you already beat that. You were, Oh, see? So I completed a lot of these things. Which is amazing. Yep. I completed a lot. And I didn't even know. See? Let me, let me collect. So if your army, you know, gets a certain amount of points, you can definitely claim these gems. Like, look. Look at this. Research points. Collect. See? And I'm claiming. And I didn't even know. You know? And these gems, you can use these gems to purchase things. So it's important that you actually just just do what you're supposed to do to get your points up and everything and your money up. This game is fun. I'm going to show you guys exactly what happens when I pull back my troops. You see in the air? My, <laughs> my helicopter is in the air. It's 
coming through. Look at look, look at that. Look at that my electricity noob. I'm going to follow them and see how good they do. They might not do as good as I'm thinking they're going to do. If you follow your army, sometimes they're still not going to do good in your eyes, but what you're not seeing, you're it's going to reflect on your score. So sometimes I follow them and I see them getting, you know, destroyed. But like, next thing you know, I look at my, my, um, my points and I'm like whoa they went up by a lot so either I'm looking at something wrong see you see what just happened my they just get in they're getting messed up right now and the reason why they're getting messed up is because they're not updated I want to update them but I want to have enough money to do that they never got this far by the way before they couldn't even pro- cross the bridge all the way without getting destroyed so this is progress right here See, they never got this far. Like, the other teams be doing amazing. Like, see? See? Y'all see that? See the other team? Oh, that's him. That's his team. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. He came to me like what <laughs> see they are they're kicking my butt right now and, and that's because they're in an alliance so it's very important to have an alliance if you have an alliance they will help you destroy the other team easily and those two people they have an alliance so they're automatically going to kick my butt but it's okay because I'm not going to always play this alone. <laughs> I'm going to have other people in my alliance. But I wish my army were faster. I don't know if I could uh, upgrade the speed, but we'll see. So definitely play this game. Try it out. See if you like it. There's so much that you could do. Um, upgrading is the most important, obviously, for any tycoon anyway. But you definitely want to be smart and strategic about your army. You want to make sure your army has the highest damage. Highest possible way to damage the other team. And quick. There's snipers on some people's teams. Like a lot of people. I've I've seen this one army that had just snipers only. And he kicked my butt. And I'm like, he's a sniper. I don't understand. Like, you know, like they're not that, but they're good. His is good because he upgraded his army. You have to upgrade your army to get the best team. And that's what I'm about to do here. I'm about to upgrade. As soon as I hit 1 million, that's when I'm going to start upgrading. But yeah, my team is, I love my team, but I, I need to work on a lot of things. See that? Um, I might need I might need a medic and a repairman on my team. I just want I just want to make sure I can get a lot of damage in first, if that makes any sense. Let's see. Because I do have gems. All right, in order to find out how many gems I have, I will have to click on these three dots on the leadership. Okay, so I have 7,200 gems. That's not bad. The research points is good. The money is, is, is coming up slowly, but surely it's coming up. And my, see, see him or her, their their points and their like their overall is just awesome. Um, I hope mines will get like that one day. I'm taking my time though, <laughs> but I'm gonna be playing this more often. I hope that you guys actually play it too as well. Um, you might see me on here, you might not. I don't know, but definitely play this game. It is worth it. Like, if I had to rate it, like, a 1 out of 5, it would be a 5. 
and I'm really like when it comes to tycoons I'm normally not as picky but with this I was like you know what I need to be picky about this like if I'm gonna play this type of game because I've done the army games before and they're fun but if I'm going to do this type of game, I I need it to be perfect. And the fact that I could change my army out and switch them and upgrade them to the best of their ability, like, that's amazing to me. So definitely, definitely try this game out because it's worth it. It really is. And if you don't want your soldiers to, you know, if you don't want your soldiers to go out there yet and they're and they're not quite ready, you can always redraw the bridge back by cl- clicking E and the bridge will go away. And your army will just be sitting there waiting for you to be ready. <laughs> you know, so it it's a it's a upside to it. So you can you can actually pause the war. And it's really it's really really fun. These, but these points, these are expensive. This is expensive. So I'm going to wait a little bit, have my stuff come to a million, and then I'll definitely dive in and start upgrading everything else. Three points every one second. So the more you upgrade your researchers, the more money you make also. And a lot of the VIPs, they have perks that we don't have, non-VIPs don't have. You don't have to have VIP to get the best experience either. Just so you know. Just have patience. See? $10 every one second. You can't beat that. That's a lot of money. And I can launch a missile. Now, will the missile be expensive? Yes. 10000 per launch. Is it worth it? Yes, it is. Um, Actually, my missile place. Let me see. My missile bunker. My missile bunker is actually really cool. Let me see if I can find it. I have so many places. Is it, is it in here? I think it is. No, no, is it? Oh, yeah, I think that's where the... Yep, I, yep, it sure is. Yes, let me show y'all. It's kind of cool. And it goes down. And this is where the missiles are. And you can switch them out. If you want a small missile, that's the regular size. If you want something huge, here's a huge one. And then if you want something even better, here's one. So you have a variety to choose from. And it is worth it. And it only costs us 10000 So you can't beat that price. And if you want to come back up here, just click the E. And it brings you back up. It's kind of cool. And then I have my boat, which is over here. Kind of cool. Now, I never used the boat before, and I don't know how to drive it. I mean, I could try. Um, yeah. Oh, you see, you see what happens when I try new things. Sometimes it just doesn't quite work out. Yeah, I've never, I've never actually, uh, I'm going to try to see what this boat is about. Let's see. Oh, oh, and I can go to somebody else's place. Okay. Okay. So it's good to know. That I could just go to either one of their places and just <laughs> just be. Um, that's kind of cool. I had no idea. Well, you learn something new every day. But yeah, I have to definitely upgrade everything. But thank you guys for watching. And make sure you look out for more of my content by clicking that notification button. So you'll know exactly when I'm uploading new content. And click the like button, please. And thank you and have a good day.